Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Roll money. Uh, sorry, do you want to run that one back? Sorry, uh, okay. I, I, was... I really enjoyed that <laughs> one. Alright, we've dissed Brendo, I'm hosting this week, which is gonna go absolutely terribly given it's about wine. <laughs> but here we are. So you better dressed. The question I yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you better tucking a shirt in, man. Anyway, I know, man. I know. Um, <laughs> now the question I have for you is do you ever think to yourself, wow, I'm really enjoying pouring this person a glass of wine right now. I wish I could be doing it to more people at the same time. Yeah, you definitely like, actually have like legit. Yeah, I, actually, I wanted to yeah. give him shit for it, but yeah, I do I, it all I the mean, time. I well, this the bar that we're in, Unico Go. I used to I had to serve five people. I have to do it one at a time. I think there was a way I could get all five people. All right five people time. in one hit. So I've solved the problem. The only problem we now need to solve <clears throat> are the laws of physics. Because what I've got for you, okay, is a bottle of wine. If we reveal what the bottle of wine actually has going on inside of it, though. give you the double-ended bottle of wine. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, mate. I gotta hand it to you. Uh, I've been involved in this industry for a while. Yeah. And you have just managed to do something. Um, this is the most dangerous game of spin the bottle. I, <laughs> I've never YouTube. encountered this uh, item at all, ever. I've encountered some weird stuff, man. I've encountered like wine in a... Um, in a light bulb, yep. sealed in a light yeah. bulb, yeah. electrico. Yeah, amazing stuff. I've never encountered. I don't even know how you'd bottle this. Well, you know what you. I, I was literally thinking the same thing, but you bottle one end and then you flip it upside down and you bottle the other end. In yeah, totally, totally in theory. But I mean, I'm I'm assuming because Van de Pay Doc. So this is a a wine that is made in really large quantities. So they've got a custom bottling machine, sure. They have a bottling machine that somehow manages to defy the laws of physics, shoot wine in really quick, and then quickly oh, bottle it before. Well, no, what you do is you'd have the cork at the top, you'd shoot it from below, and then pressure, and then get the cork under why the, maybe would the other you, way around. Why on earth would you Who do knows? that? Why wouldn't you do the simple thing of take your empty bottle, put a cork in the bottom of it, fill it up from the top, put a cork in the top? Well, the empty bottle, uh, well, the empty double-sided bottle, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Genuinely, why? Because here's the thing. I, <laughs> I want this, one. I pose this to you with the question of, do you wish you could pour more people? But you can't. Because we're going to have to get gravity to work in two different directions if you want to be pouring from both ends of the And it's not time. like people can, like, suck on the bottle either. No. They'll I be mean, working oh, against each other. This is like a tug of war! It's, no, it's a shotgunning wine. <laughs> so you open it at one end, then open the other, and just down the whole thing. This is Lady in the Tram. I have, to, I, have, I have to admit, after like doing weeks of shit wine inventions, Henry's really showing me up as the ideal host right now because this, this is the shit. <laughs> <Doily. laughs> I love this. I think yeah. it's so good. The the genius is in the design, not the function. Yes. You know, correct. like this is a perfectly made thing. How they've got to this point is incredible. Everything that happens after this moment ruins it Disaster. all. Disaster. Terms of price point. Is this something like you'd see out of like? I, I'd, I'd honestly be happy to pay a hundred dollars for this. Straight up, because it's fucking hilarious. I feel like this is something you see out of like, uh, like the Da Vinci Code, where it's like everyone's rushing and it's like, like this is the fucking bomb. Yeah. You know, it's a scroll. It's like, it, it's it, like, there's something satisfying like, about holding a bottle of wine on both ends like that. Those there, it's handlebars. <laughs> It's the Harley <laughs> Davidson of wines. It feels good. <laughs> I think all all it's wine bottles should be pizza exactly roller. Nice. It's got uses after. This is utterly fantastic. Now, uh, as to the price thing, you said hundred bucks. Um, uh, that's what I'd be happy to pay. Uh, since it's been to pays, you know it's going to be a little. Bit it's going to be cheap. It's going to be cheap. But also, add, add um, more price. It for also the... doesn't have a year on there, and it doesn't have vintage. So, which means it's probably like a mixture of vintage. I like how it's. It, there's a name to it. There's there's like a brand to this bottle. It's called the Buy Bottle. It goes both ways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. it does in the strict sense of the terms. It does. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Call me. <laughs> sorry, do you want to run that one back straight? Uh, I, would... I really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would. I would, uh, I would pay like forty-five Aussie, fifty Aussie for this. Forty-five one. Aussie, fifty yeah. Aussie. All right. Great yeah. news. Um, we don't actually have a price. I found it in Dad's cellar, so I'll take him the offer of a hundred dollars. It could be yours this time. <laughs> I'll see what he reckons. Um, do, we, do we need to take this back to him? Look, here's the thing. I don't know if he's going to watch this show, so if we really wanted to, we could open it, see what happens. And I just, just want to know what it tastes like. Oh, it's going to taste like shit, mate. It's been... Yeah, but, I... but it's Cabernet, and it, and it can't be that old. Cabernet from who knows fucking where. 
Put it in the It'll be down south. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be down south, south Bordeaux. southern France. It, Bordeaux, mate. Obviously, the reason that Dad owns this isn't because of the wine that's in there. So if we can, if we can open it and then put enough, like put some Unico Red in there, recork it, and just give it back to him as a full bottle of wine, I reckon we can open that up. We can, we can put a cool color bottle of wine, like that's a really this. nice bright red. We can make this happen. I think I think we should save this yeah. for an actual tasting of novelty wines. I love yeah, it. Like that's a really good idea. That's a really good wines, wine especially now. That's wines true. bottled in weird things like cans, oh. box wine, yeah. like yeah. different different things. This, Henry, I've got to hand it to you, mate. This is the coolest thing I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen. <laughs> I've seen in a while, man. That's insane. Yeah, anyway, um, this is the first thing of value I've added to the wine part of the business in a very long time. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll probably host again in another 15 years when I've got something equally as weird. Cheers.